so it is graduation day. You'll see in about a second here, there'll be lots of little graduates walking. And I just walked Hannah up to school. She didn't want to go alone. So I walked with her. Nick, of course, you know, he just stayed after school. He felt no need to, uh, you know, come home early and primp for the occasion. He's just, you know, going to throw on the gown that has been shoved in his backpack for the last two days. <laughs> Wrinkled, I'm sure, but you know, he's a 14 year old boy, he doesn't care. So anyway, obviously I'll show you some footage. We're excited, I can't believe that they're gonna be going to high school next year. Like that's crazy. But anyway, I'll check in later. <laughs> throughout your life, but your celebration tonight is unique. A graduation is not only a recognition of all your past accomplishments, but it is a wonderful time of anticipation and excitement. The anticipation of what lies ahead and the excitement of the unknown. As you may move into high school, college, careers, and beyond, I hope that you will all take with you a memory an experience or a life lesson from Wagner that helped you grow as a person. Graduates, I encourage you to take a moment to thank someone, a friend, a classmate, teacher, staff member, or family member that helped get you to where you are today. Welcome to a cloudy day. Very overcast, cool. Like the high is like 70. Uh, yeah, and we're like almost to July. But anyway, I am going to return some socks that Nick bought that are way too big. And then I'm going to Louis Vuitton. And that's why I thought I would check in and take you with me. I did have to return my monoglam east-west chevetis because I had the same problem that Deb at Wild and Filter did where my canvas was very noticeably crooked. Uh, interestingly enough, I see that it is back in stock at Saks and uh, I have a feeling that's mine because before I returned mine, they did not have stock. So anyway, be forewarned, uh, you shop at the Saks location for Louis Vuitton that um, perhaps you might get a crooked canvas but anyway <laughs> I'm going to go to the flagship location at 57 and 5th to check out what they have also check out whatever new things they might have I have my hair pulled back you guys because it's super humid outside and it's just gonna frizz if I don't keep it back until I get inside somewhere but yeah but anyway I thought I'd take you with me so let's go shopping so on my way to Louis Vuitton and Nike, I stopped at Coach because I saw they were having a big sale. So I tried on that bag, which sort of looked like the Neo Noe. Then I tried on this little camera bag, which was cute in the pink. Then I was kind of drawn to this green color. I'm really looking for a green bag, so I thought this spring green was pretty. But my favorite was probably this little, well, I don't even know what you call it, but it was a cute little bag and it was very price friendly. Okay, 
so that was, we had some cute bags at Coach on sale. Thinking about that little pink crossbody, it was kind of like a flat, I don't even know what style you would call it. Anyway, very cute and it's like $87. I thought the color was so pretty, but anyway, I have to say thankfully, like the part I was on of Fifth Avenue a little bit ago was ridiculously crazy and very happy to be up a little bit farther, getting closer to Louis Vuitton and Bergdorf. So it's not quite as populated up here would be the word. Oh, look at some pretty jewelry in Harry Winston. And then they also go into the new Tiffany. Thinking about getting something for Anna there for her graduation. Although I honestly think that she really wants something from Pandora. So I should look to see like where Pandora is. I'm sure there's one on Fifth Avenue. But anyway, all right, I will check in shortly. Okay, right, let's check out the windows at Louis. This is from the pre-fall, I believe. And some beautiful trunk luggage. I don't know that I've ever seen that piece. I have no idea what it is. And in this window, we've got some on the goes. One in the uh, by the pool collection and the other two in the traditional monogram in reverse. flowers like just they're not aligned it's unfortunate really really notice it on the back especially this top near the zipper see how it goes up here I am trying on the Louis Vuitton loop hobo I just love this bag. It is so versatile. It can be shoulder, it can be crossbody, you can wear it with a chain. It's awesome. I love that you know your fashion. <laughs> <laughs> that little girl that I was talking to is super cute. She was also sporting the Louis Vuitton heart bag. Yes, she was. The grandma, I'm assuming, was carrying a Gucci bag, as you saw. And yeah, they were definitely out having some shopping fun and uh, wouldn't be surprised if the little girl came home with something in addition to the American Girl doll. So this is the baby size in the Noe, in the Neo Noe. It's got the split in the middle. There's no pocket there, but it's cute. Very cute. It's on the shoulder. So I really wanted to try this bag on in the white combination, but unfortunately they only had the black. You know, it was pretty, but it is a fabric. It's actually not a rattan, so not my fave. Okay, so here is the monoglam in the Poussin. I've actually never tried this before. Not bad. I think I might look at if it came in the BB size better. So this is one of the new Alma BBs in this really beautiful lilac color. I'll show you the other colors they have too. Yellow and blue. I can't really tell the color. This lighting is not good. Oh, that has like dirt on it. Don't buy that one. This 
is the blue. I just got a lilac bag. This seems kind of silly. Let's try the blue. This strap is a little short for me. Yeah, I don't love it. It's fine. I think it's the same strap that comes on the Speedy 20, but on that it fits better. This is a little high. It's an ostrich pink capucines. It is just gorgeous. It's the mini capucines. I'm curious on the price. It's beautiful. love this bag. I can definitely see myself adding one of these to my collection sometime soon. It is gorgeous. And of course I had to see what they had at Bergdorf's Fit Fendi. As you can see, lots of sunshine shopper totes, some things left over from, I think, early spring. And I love that green color baguette. I think it's so fresh. And that's the first time I've seen a patent Fendi first. Very interesting. And then of course they did have quite a bit of the new collection in. They had this blue sunrise shopper tote, but then you'll see they had the denim Fendi first. They had the Raffia sunshine tote. They had the denim fendigraphy bag. They had the denim baguette. They had the Raffia fendigraphy. Lots of different options for summer bags. And then here were just some of the standard ones. And there of course is the infamous straw Fendi first. It is a very unique bag and definitely worth looking at in person. Here are some of the Ferragamo top handle bags. They're such pretty ladylike bags. And then here they are in the East West version. So then I headed over to the Dior boutique at Bergdorf's, which they had quite a few bags that I was looking to try on. I was really wanting to get an up close and personal with their different raffia and wicker bags. This is the medium size in the raffia with the leather handles. And then next you'll see that crossbody. I probably should have lengthened the strap a little bit. It is sitting maybe a little high where the handles come in, but very pretty bag. I just, I really, really liked this. And this is a little bit better than the one with the white handles because I don't think you have to worry about it as much. This is the medium with the Christian Dior blue writing, again with the leather handles in the canage print. And then here's that little mini wicker bag. Oh my gosh, this is just the most adorable bag on the planet. And then I headed up to the shoe department. I wanted to see if by any chance they have the Chanel sneakers that I've been looking for. Alas, they did not, but you know, had to see what other eye candy there was, some really pretty summer shade of sandals there. These, I sort of felt like they were trying to be Versace or Valentino with their like platform shoes. Not sure I was a fan. I'm not sure I'm a fan of those ones with the balls on the back either. There are some more of those platform sort of Valentino Versace lookalikes. These were cute with the little pearl heel that sort of reminded me of Nicholas Kirkwood and some other sandals. These shoes, what are we going hiking now in Chanel shoes? Those look like Keens to me. Anybody else? Yeah, not a fan. Uh, and here are some other versions of the dad sandals. They're obviously coming out with these in lots of different options. And finally, you'll see what sneakers they did have available. Not too many to choose from. Hey guys, so Hannah and I are at 
local factory NYC making our own fragrance, which is so exciting. So Morgan, my older daughter, got this for me for Mother's Day. And then I thought it would be fun for Hannah to do this kind of as a graduation thing. So we're gonna do this. I will take you along the process. Right now, we are supposed to pick our base fragrance. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the first step that you do is to pick your base fragrance and there are 12 to choose from. They're along this wall here and then they you build from there. So I'm just starting to smell the base fragrances. So I'm doing Jaden right now and it smells pretty good. So I'm thinking of Parker. Yeah, and it's like they're, they're kind of like that. very different. Or Lulu, which is that. So once you pick your base notes, then they put them on little strips and add top notes to them, about nine to 10 different options that you can smell and choose from there. So this first one that I have here is very aquatic and beachy, sea salt. Ooh, you might like that. Uh, it's on the other side. Oh. Oh, I think on, oh yeah, yeah. And this one that I have for you is lavender black pepper corns. It's floral, sweet, and spicy. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's great. Oh, this one's great. Oh, this one's great. And this one is Indian jasmine and rose, so very light linen. Not super hot. Uh, coconut mm -hmm. lavender. Oh, yeah, I don't think I like the musk part of it. Otherwise, I would have thought I would have liked it. <laughs> This one is yeah. sandalwood with Madagascar vanilla, yeah. very light, creamy. First, as you're dying, second, you want to smell outside. It's because we have so much fragrance in here that it gets a little bit overwhelming to the nose. Okay. Don't smudge, smear, rub together. Just let them dry and head outside whenever you're ready to start smelling. Alright, you're all set. So we're going to try. Do you want to smell it or that mix? Let, let, me, let me wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Hannah has made a choice. This one is definitely different. Fit check. Okay, so we went through the process. Basically, you pick your base, and then they put like, I don't know, it's like nine different drops of fragrance on top of that fragrance. And then you smell those, you narrow it down, you narrow it down to like, I think she said two to four, and then they put those on your skin so you can test it. Just to go outside because there's so much fragrance in here that they want you to be able to smell it. So we went outside, we tried it. Anna pretty much instantaneously, as you saw, picked hers. I had a little more trouble. I kind of got rid of one pretty quickly and then I was narrowed down in between two. And then we get to name our fragrances. And Hannah, what are you going to name hers? Summer. Hannah's naming hers Summer because, because it has coconut in it. And I think I'm going to name my Mother's Day since that's what I got it for. So it was Hannah's idea. I cannot take that at all. I was going to name it Morgan, but she's like, no, it's not Morgan's phrase. Right? Name it Mother's Day. So there you go. So once they're done, they go ahead and start mixing your fragrance and you come down and make a couple of other decisions. The first is what color top you want. You can pick either that black top or they have a white top. And then you also choose what color label you want. So they're white on the outside, but they have a color on the inside. So it sort of glows, it, it, it sort of tints the glass almost when you're looking at it. And then finally, you choose the name of your fragrance. stop at Diptyque, Hannah and I moved on to the Tiffany Boutique in Soho. 
These are some of the hardware pieces, both in gold and in silver. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the hardware collection. And then Hannah got to try on these bracelets that we were thinking about getting her for graduation. So she tried this one on first. This was a size medium. It was definitely too big on her wrist. She honestly likes tighter bracelets, but that was even way too big. And then here is the small. Now this one is in the Tiffany blue enamel, and then it says return to Tiffany on the back. And then she also wanted to try on, it comes in a pink enamel as well. So she tried that one on and then the lady was very kind and said, here, let's hold them both together so that she could kind of get an idea of which looked better on her skin tone. Anna, would you like to give your thoughts on the Tiffany bracelets you tried on? I think I like I'm the blue. Okay. Oops, sorry, Tiffany. The Tiffany blue. And what, what did you, you, what did you, you yes. and what did you think of it in general? Like, did you like it as much as you thought? I know your friend has it, but yeah. I like the way it fit. Definitely better than the medium. Like it sat nice. Cause I always wear like tight bracelets like that. That would be makes some money for my skin. <laughs> um, so I like it as looser and that's very pretty. But now we're gonna go check out Pandora to this ring that she wants. It's close. We're in Pandora looking at a potential ring. That's me. Good check. Just a Linen shirt from H&M, I think. Maybe Old Navy, H&M, I think. And then the pants are from Banana Republic Factory and my Totem T-Lock bag, something like that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me to Louis Vuitton. Saw lots of eye candy, tried on lots of bags. And yes, as you probably saw when I was at Bergdorf's, I came home with a couple of bags. So make sure you are subscribed and you have your notification bell turned on so you know when I upload that unboxing, which is definitely to come because I would like to use those pieces. And I hope you enjoyed seeing Hannah and I go out, do some shopping. Let me know what you thought. Do you think she should get the pink or the Tiffany blue bracelet for her graduation? If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would join us here. It really does mean a lot to a content creator when you subscribe to their channel. And we are edging closer and closer to almost 2,000 subscribers. I really would like to hit that goal before my one-year anniversary, which is sometime in the middle of August. So we have like a good six weeks to hit that. So if you can help me do that, I would. it would mean the world to me, honestly. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are. I hope you are having an amazing day or evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.